By now you've probably heard of the most commonly used illicit drug in the United States, marijuana. Every month, more than 22 million Americans partake in some form of marijuana usage. That's more than enough people to fill 258 Disneylands. Marijuana can be used in a plethora of ways. It can be smoked, vaped, eaten, or even topically applied to the skin, just to name a few pathways for use. There are many people who believe that marijuana is a completely safe drug with no negative side effects, while others believe marijuana is dangerous and should never be used by anyone. So what are the effects of marijuana usage? Recreational and medicinal use of marijuana each have its own set of pros and cons. First, let's start with the positives. Some of the most commonly known positive effects for recreational use of marijuana is its ability to make the user happy and relaxed, often in tandem with causing the user to have uncontrollable laughter. As for the medical benefits of marijuana, marijuana can be used to reduce chronic pain, lessen symptoms of nausea and vomiting, and also help prevent seizures for those with seizure disorders. While all these benefits make marijuana sound like a miracle drug that should be used by everyone and their mom, it is important to know the negative side effects as well. When recreationally used, not everyone experiences the same effect of joy enhancement. In fact, recreational marijuana will oftentimes cause severe anxiety attacks. As for the long-term health impact of marijuana, this drug has been shown to cause low motivation in daily life, depression, and even permanent IQ loss of up to 8 points. Now that you know some of the pros and cons of using marijuana, I'm sure you're wondering if there is a way to safely use marijuana. While there is no certain way to avoid the negative side effects of marijuana, there are some key pieces of knowledge to know before partaking in any sort of marijuana use. On the molecular level, marijuana is composed of compounds known as cannabidiol and delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or CBD and THC. CBD is the compound in marijuana that is largely associated with health benefits, while THC is the compound that provides the psychoactive effects that make you feel high. Knowing how much THC you are bringing into your body is incredibly important, as this number is directly correlated with how high you will feel. If you have never had marijuana before, medical professionals recommend starting with a dose of 2.5 milligrams and then observing the effects and increasing dosage from there. So always track what you are taking and how it makes you feel. Even though no one has ever died of too much marijuana consumption, taking too much marijuana can cause you to experience vomiting, paranoia, and hallucinations. Another key principle to having a safe experience while using marijuana is to buy it from authorized legal retail stores. In California, legal dispensaries are abundant, so buying from one of these sources will ensure that you know exactly the ingredients in the marijuana you are consuming, and are not surprised by any unwanted, more dangerous ingredients. The last piece of information I would like to inform you on pertaining to the dangers of marijuana is one that is oftentimes unknown to even the most active marijuana users. This piece of information is to never drive while under the influence of marijuana, as driving under the influence of marijuana is considered a DUI offense. It is a common misconception that only driving under the influence of alcohol is illegal, while in reality, driving under the influence of any drug that impairs driving ability is. Marijuana greatly lowers reaction time and coordination, and therefore makes high drivers extremely dangerous. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, in 2018, approximately 12 million American drivers admitted to driving under the influence of marijuana. It is unknown how many deaths are caused by this form of driving under the influence, but given that in the same year of 2018, over 10,000 Americans died from drunk driving, the grand number of lives that were lost due to driving under the influence of marijuana must be acknowledged. While getting high from marijuana is legal in the state of California and can be a fun alternative to alcohol, make sure you know what you're getting into and do it as safely as possible. 